Hey guys, Mika here, and I'm bringing you a very, very special and unique ukulele um, made in Japan, made in the northern islands of Japan in the Hokkaido region in the city of, or their main city of Sapporo. And I had the, the privilege of being able to go up there back in 2017 with my family, and uh, it was an awesome trip. And if you guys haven't been to Japan, Sapporo is um, not a, it's, it's a great place to go check out awesome food, awesome seafood, miso ramen. Again, you heard it from me. Um, please go check it out. But this is where this instrument hails from, Polson's guitar. So this is a custom tenor size, pretty much a, a koa face top, really, really nice curly koa, really that 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 iconic orange golden, dark orange golden color that you get from curly koa. Nice tight grain patterns, nice dark streaks here. Um, pretty much everything you can expect from a really, really nice set of curly koa. And then here on the sides and in the back, we have bog oak from Finland. And this wood is actually 6,500 years old. That is, it's pretty old. But what's really cool about this too is that we have really, and you'll see as I start to pinpoint some certain spots over the ukulele, really cool designs here. And all of these designs are more or less made with the, the curly koa. So really cool. Um, and then even more so with the koa, we have the curly koa binding here on the back and here on the top. And even here, we have a curly koa um, little scoop cutaway right here. So when you're up here, it's really comfortable to go ahead and just like kind of rest your your hands there or your palm there and then you can go ahead and do what you got to do up here so really cool um yeah really 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 awesome stuff here and then again like with the designs we have more of those kind of designs here we have it here right here um we also have that black mother of pearl around the rosette right here um and then going ahead and just pinpointing more of those designs right here on the bottom of the neck on the side of the neck here on the bottom side of the neck right here and then even having some more little designs here and then even around the sides of the headstock right here so a lot of a lot of cool little designs kind of scattered throughout the instrument and it's just really cool it's just it's like a mystery it's a puzzle it's like wow there's so many different designs all over the all, 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 over, all over the instrument and even here uh, by the, the tail block of the instrument we have more of that pattern right here along the back side kind of running down right here on the instrument um, we have a mahogany satin neck right here and then um, we have ebony here on the bridge ebony here on the fretboard here on the headstock and then even on the back and what's really cool about this headstock and even the back side of this headstock um, actually two really cool things about the headstock is um, on the back and on the front we have a textured kind of headstock so I'm not sure if you guys can kind of see it in the camera hopefully um, you guys should be able to see it in the pictures but basically when I run my 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 fingers down the headstock you can kind of feel the little indentations with the wood here um, on the top um, it is a satin finish but you can just kind of see those little um, indentations from the wood grain and even here on the back there's just a slight texture um, here in the back but I think the coolest thing about this headstock as you guys probably have already noticed is that it's literally like split in half you know starting from here and then it doesn't meet up at the top there's little rods that's uh, connecting both of the headstocks right here are the two pieces together right here and then right here um, and what's really cool too is that it kind of has that same kind of design as here as the back of the instrument it has that kind of design same thing with the headstock so it's pretty much like two pieces put into one um, on the headstock and for me personally I feel like this is something you'd kind of find on a guitar and be like yeah that that makes sense that's pretty cool but then on ukulele it's like no way like what you can find this kind of thing on the ukulele this kind of aesthetics on ukulele but well you're here to see it right here and it's a uh, it's really cool one of the coolest headstocks um, I've seen on an ukulele so yeah, awesome stuff here aesthetically, really nice. You, know, you can never go wrong with curly coal and just having that, that kind of black kind of color, you know, whether it's ebony or that bog wood here on the back and sides, um, bog oak wood. It's really, really nice. Um, never, I mean, musicians love that that darkness of the, of the black and the ebony and then just the curly coal. So um, it's really, really nice. Um, even here on the neck and heel, notice how what's interesting about this ukulele is that usually when you have the neck kind of go, kind of join the body right here, usually there's a, there's a part that kind of sticks out right here. So usually this part kind of comes out like this, but this joins pretty much evenly with the instrument itself right here. It's pretty much flat with the instrument. And again, usually you'll have the neck kind of go like this, and then you'll have like a little heel right here at the instrument sticking out. Usually it's a point, sometimes it's rounded, but this goes right directly into the instrument. So again, a really a, a nice, another uh, little design feature of this instrument. 
Um, but going into the sound of this, oh, one last thing is, of course, the Block Goto tuner is one of the best tuners you can put on an instrument. Very easy to use, aesthetically pleasing. It's very, it's very accurate. You know, you don't have to turn too much to tune your ukulele. You can get it. Um, that you can get your tuning really nailed down in there. And then one, one last thing I promise is that we also have the Koa fret markers here on the side of the instrument. As you can see, it's very plain and black on the on the fretboard, but here you can find your fret markers. Three, five, seven, 10, 12, 15, 7, oh, even 19, all the way down the fretboard, so, or on the side. So getting into the sound, I really enjoy the sound of this instrument. It's uh, pretty much right up my alley in, the, in, the, in, the, in terms of the sound quality it is that I personally look for. Um, again, at the end of the day, um, this is just my personal opinion. You know, sound is very subjective. You know, you want to trust your own ears. And if you kind of have an, incl an inclination or a liking towards the instrument, you know, trust your ears. But this is based, based off what I hear subjectively. So um, this instrument it has a very warm tone. But what I really love about this, and again, it kind of feeds into my style playing what I want to hear, is that it's just so clean. It's, it has so much clarity, especially like on the A string, uh, when you do finger style picking or even just plucking on you know individual strings. It's just so clean, just so much clarity, and then the sustain. Oh man! Oh my gosh! So the sustain just ah, oh, it just takes so long. Like oh, sorry, one more time. It just floats. You're just like floating in the sky. You're you know you're just you're you're in a parachute in the sky. You're just kind of chilling. Like yeah, I'm not nowhere to go. To me, when I play a nice open chord, or even if I play like an F major seven chord. still going that low G string so it's incredible you know I love playing these kind of colors with this kind of sound you know even when I'm playing higher up on the, on the fretboard 7 7 7 10 so clean you're playing an A chord 9 9 9 12 oh my gosh and then playing an open C 0 0 12 15 oh my gosh just that that ping such a sweet tone and the instrument it has a nice it has a nice sense of depth too so depth meaning like when i'm holding the instrument against my body when i like hit that low g string you can feel it vibrating against your body which it has a lot of that lower end response so this instrument is incredibly well balanced but i would like to say it has more pronunciation with the highs and the trebles again the clarity just really outstanding just so squeaky clean oh my goodness oh my gosh the 19th fret which you know usually no one ever plays plays this high it's just so clean doesn't get muddy and again playing on the E string C string Absolutely clean, squeaky clean instrument. Nice low ends, nice resonance, nice warmth. With you know, just that tone fills up the room. And a nice crispiness. Fantastic instrument. So let's go ahead and check out an uninterrupted sound sample for me. So here we go.
do some strumming. and shoving. Let's keep going. 